There are moments in life where you feel that something is missing. You look around and you see people who appear to have a better life than yours. They are prettier, richer, smarter, happier than I am. They have less problems and their life seems so much easier than mine. I don't have the job, the partner, the money, the recognition, the health I would want. My parents didn't take care of me. I assume this has happened to you as well, that you sometimes suffer from it. You suffer from what you don't have, from what you've lost, from separations, failures, and regrets. You suffer from believing you need more. You think your life would be better if it were different. On such days, we focus on what's bothering us, we believe that life is hard. In doing so, we forget everything we have, our body, the people we love, how lucky we are. Of course, we could probably have more. Of course, there are people who have what we want. But let's wake up and open our eyes. In the olden days, kings would have spent a fortune to access what we nowadays take for granted, like the internet or electricity. So take a look. Let's look around us, whether it's the splendor of nature, the beauty of a gaze, or masterpieces created by mankind. I'm not saying that you have to be happy. I only wish we'd remember what we already have at those times we forget. Did you know that when astronauts go into space, they don't look at the other stars, but rather at our own planet? They turn around to look at the Earth, and tears of inspiration stream down their faces as they see humanity blending together as one. I'm telling you this because nearly 50 serious studies have come to the conclusion that the practice of gratitude is one of the most efficient ways to our well-being. We only seem to realize the value of things once we've lost them. So is this the only way? Do we really have to lose something in order to appreciate it? Imagine you suddenly lose your eyesight. Imagine you lose your hearing. How would you feel? Now imagine that a year later, you get both back. Honestly, wouldn't that be the happiest day of your life? Well, I have great news for you. What you might have lost, you do have today. So let's put an end to all those lies we keep believing in. Enough with regret, which makes us feel as if it were better before. Enough with comparison, which makes us believe it would be better if it were different. Enough with impatience, which makes us believe it would be better later. And let's decide to open our eyes and appreciate the magic of life. Let's breathe together. If you'll join me, close your eyes. And let the people you love flash before your eyes. Take time to see their faces, the familiar facial expression, their eyes, the sound of their voice. You can even think of moments where you saw their love for you in a look, a move, a thoughtful gesture, a few words. You can see or feel those moments when your heart was filled with love at the sight of someone out of an landscape. Notice how good it feels to experience this love that's already inside of you. Realizing what we have, it's honoring those who were here for us. It's honoring the people who have inspired us. The artists, the teachers, the architects, the writers. It's honoring all these engineers, entrepreneurs, employees. All those who put their talents to the service of humanity. It's honoring our moments of joy, of victories, our accomplishments, the times we laughed out loud or felt deeply connected to someone. Stop with all those stories we tell ourselves about being unlucky. We are lucky. I want to express my deepest gratitude to my parents for giving me life, to my family and my friends for being here when I needed them. I'm grateful for the magic of life, for the perfection of my body, for my eyes that allow me to see such beauty, for my ears that allow me to enjoy this wonderful music, for my hands that allow me to touch life and feel the skin of the person I love, for my feet, my legs that have been carrying me since the very beginning, and that allow me to walk, run and dance. You might not have all of these things, but you at least have one. And what's this single one worth to you? There are also all these things that seem commonplace, but are yet so precious. I am grateful for running water to the roof above my head, clothing. I feel grateful for these directors and their movies that move us and make us feel alive. 
to these athletes who inspire us and make us want to excel. We are so blessed to be able to enjoy the talents of so many people. Today, I choose to say thank you. I choose to honor everything that life has given me since I was born. I decide to live each day as if I had just gotten back the thing that matters the most to me. What about you? If you had 24 hours left to live, what would you do? People often answer that they would realize how blessed they are and tell their loved ones how much they are loved. Then why should we wait for our last day? So let's decide to enjoy life now, to open our hearts and say thank you, right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I encourage you to share it with your loved ones. For years now, I have wanted to make a video in English so that the idea of appreciating life, which is so important to me, could spread around the world. We've been working on this for a year and to be able to share it with you today is very fulfilling. To learn more about how to create an inspiring and meaningful life, check out the series of free videos we've made for you. Click here to watch it. Let's grow together, have a great day, bye bye.